I'm blown away by that. I'm actually blown away by that. Like, the car was just... What is going on, guys? It is JJ here. Back with a new video, and today... We had the qualifying session for the Monaco Grand Prix. We have the Champions League final. We have so much going on today, but we decided we'd go back uh, and take a look. It was a couple of things. People in the live stream said we need to go take a look at. Uh, actually, everyone was recommending videos in the live stream, uh, but we're going to go back and take a look at Eric Senna's 1990 Monaco Grand Prix onboard lap. We might do it twice, but people call him the King of Monaco. Graham Hill was also called the King of Monaco because he won it five times, but Senna, Apparently has one of the best onboard sessions in Monaco of all time. Plus, I kind of want to see what Monaco used to look like. Obviously, they had the changes in the course. The cars are a lot different in F1. But to see one of the best drivers of all time sort of putting down his mark at Monaco uh, is going to be very, very interesting. Honestly, Sean Leclerc, in, in, in terms of actually pole laps and qualifying at Monaco and being Monegasque, uh, this seems to be his course. I feel like maybe like towards the end of his career, end of his legacy, people will, will go back and say Charles Leclerc at Monaco is, is a thing of beauty. But anyway, we're going to take a look at the Senna on board. Uh, this will be a short, relatively short video. It's only two minutes long, but yeah, let's get into the video. As well, guys, you can find the original video down in the description below. I just like the old camera. Going so fast that it's just sketching out. God, it's so sick. This loud sound of the car just unleashing the full engine. Is it a hand? Wait, 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 wait. When they're changing gears, it's literally hand change. Like, so they have the stick. I mean, obviously, flappy paddles probably weren't invented now or then, but. Imagine I have to take one hand off the steering wheel and change a gear in, in a Formula One car. That blows my mind. The hairpin turn. Oh, so that into the tunnel. They must have they must have lost a little bit of the onboard cam in the tunnel. It's just so pretty. Dude, around the harbor in the swimming pool she came. He's like, get out of my way. That is so sad. That's it. That's the onboard for for Eric Sana at Monaco. I'm blown away by that. I'm actually blown away by that. Like the car was just it's just so smooth. Obviously, there's probably so many more intricate details. F F1 difficulty, easy, normal, hard, professional, legend, Senna. Senna, McLaren, Monaco, but the, yeah, they know the manual stick shift, the V10, brilliant. Uh, watching Senna lap around Monaco is like Da Vinci. You never convinced me the car was not somehow connected to a central nerve. He literally got every single little thing out of that car. <sighs> How he is attacking from just the camera images, what is it like for him? Must have been. He locks up the front left. I just got, I'm still just blown away by this. Just imagine driving at that speed with one hand on the steering wheel. I can't, I can't imagine that. Because, I mean, he's going well in excess probably of 100, 130, 140 miles an hour. Because I think the average on the track is what, like 155. And he's still just pedal to the metal, just going. I just, I love that. Maybe, maybe me saying Charles Leclerc will become the king of Monaco. It is a mistake because maybe the title does belong to Senna, which is why we're going to watch the lap one more time to actually just bask in it. To just enjoy it. Let's, let's do this. Jeez. 
just, uh, yeah, I, I love seeing his hand just go away and come back. I think that was the corner for Nendo Lumpen for franchise to qualifying today, was that one there. Coming out flat, that's that's where Checo crashed today. And he's just hauling. The sound coming out of the tunnel. I just love how close he is to the tiger. Like it, he is front and center with it. Oh, I love this. Okay, let me know what other onboards you guys want to see. I have that is it. It knocks my head away. It takes my. It's honestly, it just makes me want to go karting so bad. It. I really, really do. Just, just to sort of bask in it and just to sort of enjoy it, looking at how insane they're going. But, okay, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below uh, on the 1990 Monaco Grand Prix and uh, just on Senna in general. What, what an amazing driver. What an amazing onboard. What an amazing race. And what an amazing circuit. These, I think sometimes the qualifying and the onboards might actually be better at Monaco than the actual race. But this year is going to be my first Monaco race, so it's going to be fun. But, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And peace.